Welcome to TRS Clips, where you'll find happiness through your own curiosity. When you're growing up in Mumbai, hmm. you will be connected to Sanatan Dharma if you're born in a Hindu family in some way or the other. But it's not the version of Sanatan Dharma you often see in, say, Banaras or right. Punjab or wherever. Like here, it's a lot about Ganpati worship. Like, hmm. so you see a lot of Ganesh hmm. ji. Uh, like the first time I heard the word Mahakal was actually the Virat Kohli video where he goes, Jai Mahakal. Jai Mahakal, achha. <coughs> now, hmm. one way of looking at the hmm. situation is on a surface level that, oh, Virat Kohli went to Ujjain's Mahakal and said Jai Mahakal. Hmm. A deeper way of looking at it is, this is the country's biggest icon and it's one of the world's biggest icons. He's saying something related to religion. He had a very important life event in this particular temple. And eventually one day, hopefully a hundred years into the future, Virat Kohli is going to pass away. And hundred years after that, not too many people will even remember him. Who's possibly the most famous Indian right now. Mm. That is what Mahakal is. But Mahakal chose this one icon to be able to say his name in terms of Jai Mahakal. It taught me as a guy in Mumbai who's never heard of Mahakal. It taught me about Mahakal. And now here we are on this podcast, which is going to get watched by a million people and amplifying Mahakal because I'm a Virat Kohli fan <laughs> and I'm a Kal Bhairav uh, yeah. worshipper. Uh, I've still not understood what Mahakal is. I mean, it's the closest I've come to understanding it. But the deeper way of looking at it is that these deities are waking up now. Another thing about Mahakal is there are Mahakal mantras. Okay. And Japa and all that everything can be done. Mantra is a way to connect to a deity. Okay. Mahakal mantras are there. <coughs> I find meditation on Mahakal to be more fruitful than mantra sadhana. If you can meditate, which is unfortunately 90% people cannot. Okay. Meditation is not just sitting. Your full concentration is there. Mahakal is that being which is at the last frontier of your imagination. Wow. Jiske baad aur kuch, your mind is going to now burst open in the seams. It can't go beyond this <laughs> last thing. Edge of the universe. Edge. It's like, suppose you're losing consciousness. Last second, mein jo yaad rata, that is Mahakal. And he can take any shape, any form, anywhere. From a chair to a enlightened being, he can become anything. The very edge of your universe is Mahakal. Edge of your universe. Do you know that the Mahakal Mandir is being visited by other creators as well? Kuldeep Yadav has gone there. My friend okay. KL Rahul has gone there. Okay. And I asked KL how it was. He was just like very, very powerful. Mm -hmm. Too powerful. Mm -hmm. My question is, these are really high profile people. What in that temple is calling these people there? Or bringing these people there? And why that particular temple? But come to think of it, if you, if you go into history... Uh, these temples have always attracted powerful people. Kings have gone there. Ministers have gone there. Who else has not gone there? In that era, that time, whoever was the most powerful people, they would have gone there. Whoever was ruling, say, in those areas and of uh, Hindu uh, faith would have surely gone there. The overarching question here is, why does it attract powerful people? No, it attracts everybody, I feel. Uh, perhaps sometimes what happens is they go there and they see some... A positive event happens in life. So you get more emotionally connected to that space. Why does the positive event happen after you go to that? Temple? That could be just random. Okay. Mm, that could be random. That could be maybe some past life link is there or could be hundreds of other reasons. Uh, like, so yeah. I've, I've heard a lot of people say that it fast forwards your karmas again, which is what you said, I think about. Bhairav no, that Bhairav. is if you're doing the sadhana. See, there are two things you have to understand this very clearly. You can go to any temple in the world. Okay. You can go to Mahakal, you can go to Mahakamakya, you can go anywhere, have darshan, do normal puja, come back. That is one thing. Everybody is allowed to do all that. The moment you do sadhana, that is when your karmas are going to burn. That is when the deity's attitude towards you will change completely. Hey, if you enjoyed today's clip, make sure you check out all the other clips we've uploaded on this channel. You'll find a clip related to almost every single topic as long as you're willing to search for it.